Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackly Moon. This is going to be a video all about your moon sign. Um, so moon signs talk about your emotions and the and basically how you are emotionally reacting to daily things. So if you notice, um, one day you're super emotional, another day you're maybe a little bit more cold-hearted. <laughs> your moon sign has a lot to say about that. Um, a lot of people are very familiar with their sun signs. So that is like your sign. Um, when people ask you, oh, what sign are you? Usually you are going to say my sun sign. Um, so for me, for example, my sun sign is in Pisces, but we also have a moon sign. Um, and then we also have a sign that our Neptune is in and we have a sign that Saturn is in. So there's multiple planets and the moon is, it happens to be in a certain sign at the time of your birth. So if you know the time, the location, the date of your birth, then you will be able to track your own birth chart. Um, <clears throat> so for this video, you should already have an idea of what your moon sign is. And in order for you to find that, um, you can track it on an online calculator. So there's lots of like, free um, moon sign calculators <laughs> online and you plug in all of your information. So you're gonna plug in your birth date, the time you were born, where you were born. And once you do that, you should be able to pretty much get a birth chart. So for me, I have my birth chart. Let me, for the sake of the video, let me pull it out. I want to make sure I'm not pulling out a personal one. Okay, this one is natal chart. This one's the whole sign. Okay, so for the sake of the video, let's pull out my birth chart. Okay, so when you plug in your information, you're going to get a birth chart. Okay, and it's going to have a list of everything. So it's going to tell you your sun sign, your moon sign, your rising sign, blah, 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 blah. This video isn't to teach you how to do all that. Um, but basically, for your moon sign, you're going to look at your chart, and the moon is going to be right, boom, mine is right there. So um, it's a little image of a moon. Let me put this up closer so that you could see right there. And you look in your chart and it'll say it like usually it'll give you a list to tell you all that stuff but my moon is in cancer and it is in the second house so that is where my moon is in my birth chart it's in cancer in the second house um, and so then what you will do is read up all about your moon sign you can find that information online if you are if you have notes you can check your notes or if you have a book, you could check out what does Cancer Moon mean. So for me, I think I did mine. Yeah, Moon and Cancer. So for me, you know, we are um, devoted, patient, we're sensitive, strong, emotionally strong. Um, we are artistic, we're also literary, so we love to read, and we're also artsy, imaginative, creative that kind of stuff. So you'll find out about your moon and then my moon is in the second house. So the second house from according to my notes is the house of money and possessions, income and your financial prospects, your house of movable possessions, your feelings of money, the earning power and how you handle money. So my moon happens to be in the second house. So I am very emotionally connected when it comes to my house of money and possessions. I'm emotionally connected to everything. Um, maybe it's why it's hard for me to get rid of certain stuff. I have a lot of like, um, you know, empathetic feelings towards stuff, objects. Um, I could also be very emotionally connected to the way I make my money or um, you know all of that kind of stuff. So really cool, really interesting. That's how you find out what your moon is. Now, people have been asking me, well, 
your moon changes, the moon changes. So it's not always gonna be in the sign of cancer. Eventually it moves over and it goes around the, the chart, right? So when you get further in your practice, um, basically you can get an app called iLuna and put it on your phone and it will tell you what phase the moon is in, in the present, as well as what sign it's in right now. So I checked the app before I started the video. <clears throat> the moon is in Libra right now. So let's say right now, today, the moon is in Libra, but you want to know where does that pertain to you against your birth chart. So if you already have a copy of your birth chart and you know that today moon is in Libra, where is Libra in your birth chart? That's basically how you find out how the daily transit of the moon reflects with your birth chart okay so there's actually calculators online that you can do all of that but a cool way to do it on your own especially if you're learning astrology like me is to track it yourself so now that I know that moon is in Libra today for me in my chart Libra for me is in the fifth house so as you can see Libra in the fifth house so the moon is in this sign right now. According to my birth chart, it's in the fifth house for me. In your birth chart, it could be in the, in the first house. It could be in the 12th house. It could be something different. So what you want to do, especially if you watch this video today to practice, look at your birth chart and look at where Libra is in your chart. Whatever house Libra lands in, that's what today's moon is emotionally connecting to you with. If that makes sense. <laughs> so for me, let's check it out. The fifth house. And I have my notes because I don't know everything. I'm still learning. So in my notes, I wrote down fifth house. The fifth house is the house of creativity and sex. It is pleasure, self-expression, your sexual nature, entertainment, artistic talents, and the house of your heart. So creativity and sex, basically. And it's kind of funny for me because today I started my period today. So the fact that my emotional moon is in the house of Libra or the sign of Libra in my fifth house which is the house of sex, I'm, you know, emotionally all over the place. So it's kind of funny that I started my period today and the moon just so happens to be floating around in my house of sex, which is like, you know, my, I'm, I'm just super emotional, right? And like about all that stuff and <laughs> creativity wise, um, anything that I do creativity is coming from the heart. It's coming from my emotional connection to it. I feel, I feel, I'm still learning this stuff, you guys, so I could be completely wrong, but self-expression, the way I'm expressing myself through this video to you guys, doing this video for you, um, I'm coming from a emotional aspect, so I'm connecting with you in that way. Um, but yeah, so that's how you basically find where the moon is against your personal birth chart. Everyone's birth chart is different. The moon today is the same for everybody. It's it's going to be in the sign of Libra for everybody. But against your birth chart, it's going to be different. Libra can be in a completely different house for you. So it's going to have emotional reactions differently to you. Like it's going to affect you differently. Um, based on whatever house it lands on for you. So um, for some of you, it could be, you know, in the first house, which is the house of self. So, you know, you maybe you feel quite emotionally unstable. Um, for others, it could be at, like in the work area, you know, of your chart. So maybe you're having emotional ties at work or really emotional conversations with people or whatever. <laughs> But that's basically what that means is how you track your moon sign, your moon, the moon to your birth chart. I feel like I completely like I completely um, confused a lot of you, but that's the way I do it. Um, I don't know if that's technically the right way, but that's the way I do it. Um, so... I wish you guys all of the best with your studies and I'm not in no way an astrologer. I am learning still, maybe one day, but until then, 
that is how I do my studies and I hope that that helped you and if you guys have any questions leave comments below and I will do my best to answer them. Bye loves!